Hi guys, only me. It's a very quick video on this one, just showing you how to phase a BMW drive shaft. Now, I know that on my last video, um, that many of you commented that it, the, the drive shaft that I put back into the bike wasn't phased. You're absolutely right. Um, funny enough, when I was at, when I actually took it out, I looked at it and I thought, well, that something doesn't seem right about this drive shaft. And I, I looked, I thought, I, I know it's not in phase, but maybe I, I was missing something because, you know, it's been in like that for years. It was seized up for Christ's sake in that position. So, um, so I, I thought that was wrong and, um, and I didn't take action on it because I just thought it was right. And with the cameras and the lighting and getting everything else right and getting the content right for you lot, um, I just, you know, bypassed it and just thought maybe I was thinking the wrong thing. Anyway, um, fact is, this is um, how to actually phase it. So what you need to get is the, that goes on the gearbox output shaft and uh, that's splined. This is the one little bugger that was seized and was also phase wrong, okay? So it's been like that for years. Um, so what you gotta make sure is that the fixed part of one end of the universal joint goes and matches up with the fixed part of the other end of the universal joint, okay? Last time when I put this back in, it was offset about 20 degrees compared to what it was, what it is now. All right, so this is the correct way. It's gotta be fixed there and fix there, okay? That's your fixed points, and then you won't get any vibration. If it's offset, then at higher speed, you will get a lot of vibration. Um, so that solves that, and uh, yeah. Thank you very much for um, watching this, and hopefully that has cleared it up. Thanks for all the comments. Apart from the one where somebody said that I should take a lo good long look at myself. <laughs> Takes all sorts, doesn't it? Oh well. Cheers, guys.